Hey folks, so I'm going to show you how to get to uh, Mikola's cocoon. Or how to find Mikola in uh, Elder Ring. Um, spoilers for, you know, congruency of the game, you have been, uh, for, or for the main quest of the game, you have been warned. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to come out here to the first step, Site of Grace. This is the second Site of Grace you see when booting up the game for the first time. And there's going to be a masked dude here oh, named well, White Bass Vera. For an audience. And basically what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to... There's two things that could happen. One, you talk to him, exhaust his dialogue. When you first boot up the game, when you get a great ruin by fighting Godric, uh, Renala, uh, uh, or, or the rest of them... Uh, you can check to see if you have a great ruin um, by going to your inventory, key items, scrolling down, to where your pots, your memory stones, your talisman pouches, and stones or keys are. You will normally get a talisman pouch from defeating Morga. The of the, uh, the ill uh, for, um, Margaret the El ill omen, the foul omen. Uh, as you can see, I have Godric's great room here, and he will tell you to go to the go round table to the hold. You you come back here, exhaust his dialogue, and then you return to the round table hold. I told you how to get to the round table hold earlier in this playlist. You can find that video, presumably right about now. So, once you come back to the round table hold, the door that was originally closed will be in here. And here's the two fingers that you've been talking about. You will talk to Elder Finger Reader Edna, and you just spam through. I'm spamming through as to minimize the amount of potential spoilers you might have as far as dialogue is concerned. Oh, Exhaust for a dialogue. Oh, think. Now go and from here, we will be making a trek. Not uh, back to the site of grace, but to this rose church up here. But for posterity's sake, so y'all can see what happens, we're going to go back to uh, the first step. And because this is loading into a new area, once you have had your audience with the two fingers, that's what that sequence was, we will come back to the first step and notice that Vary has left. He has left a message saying, Find yourself meaningless. Off to Laernia with you. Seek Rose Church west of Gate Town. That is where we will be going next, which is past Godric the Graphic Side of Grace down the Lescar Ruins, and it will be here. Let's go there, shall we? Now, from the South Ray Lucaria Gate Site of Grace, uh, we are going to head southwest to the Rose Church. From here, we're going to get on Torrent, the best goat boy. We're going to go just past this tree, but those trees right here and we're going to line up our shot double jump and land right there this will allow us to get all the way down without necessarily having to um die if that jump is too too much for you you're more than welcome to run down through the gate town avoiding the enemies on torrent as long as you're agile you have nothing we're going to head continuing southwest as you can see that little uh our little light of mine ahead guiding the way we're not going to go into the church. A rather difficult enemy can spawn, and there is an end the and there is a pretty decent distance between the Rose Church and the Set of Grace. There is no sign of grace at the Rose Church. And as you can see, White Mask Barry has effectively moved here, and the next step is ah, we're going to talk to him. You what? Sp uh -huh. Spam. Your into my doubts. See, had been and basically, up, he's going to ask. You see, uh, you're, uh, the words you're gonna, he's going to ask you if the, if the two fingers were impressive, and you say basically no, not, I which is the default choice. The and then you're going to exhaust this dialogue. For Give it a try, and if it, I've high. 
So at this point, what you need to do is you need to invade other people. Now, if you have a lot of ruins, this is going to be a point. You need to basically invade people, I believe, a total of three to five times. I'm not sure which. I usually get air with five to stay on the safe side. Um, or I think it's, no, it's three times. So if you are worried about your ruins getting caught somewhere where you're not supposed to be, uh, a good thing to pick up would be the uh, twigs, the twig talismans that protect your ruins. Uh, and if you have been able to get access to the all the uh, the uh, twiggy cracked tear, stopping ruin death on uh, stopping ruin loss upon death. Uh, so what you're going to do is you're going to go into your multiplayer and you're going to hit uh, the if you have the recuse under bloody fingers, you can use those. But given that we were given um, these multiplayer items, I'm going to use them. So you're giving you're given five of these uh, dis of uh, these uh, disposable fingers, these festering bloody fingers, and you will use them. I'm going to click both near and far. When you do just nearby, it's only things in the general vicinity. You do both near and far, it'll be anywhere in the world or in whatever stage those might be in. I'm going to have my Flask of Wonders and Zik ready to go off rip because I want to make sure that, you know, farming groups do not hit me. You're going to do this three separate times and come back to Varen. Something to also keep in mind is you can activate your, fing your Furl Calling Finger Remedies. This turns on multiplayer, and sometimes people will have a uh, red if you see a red message like that anywhere in the world this will essentially allow people to summon you uh to their world and um uh or and in what you can do as somebody activating it is summon an adversary so if you see uh there are some npc ones that are like this in reverse quest lines uh normal players can throw one down themselves um, there are multiple options to uh, engage with the duels, including a deliberate NPC-focused one that can be found at the Rife Blood Ruins right here on the corner. You can invade that person repeatedly, and because of it, uh, 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 if you are unfortunately... Uh, not able to find a match due to uh, you know, just not being lucky, or that you are watching this video so far into the future that time that there's no longer people playing Elden Ring, <gasps> you still have options to be able to do it this way. Also, side note, um, you can also get the item you need by going all the way up here to the Consecrated Snowfields and coming to this little inlet over here. But this is the easiest way, and I'm making this video primarily for people who are uh, uh, trying to, uh, you know, get to Mikola's cocoon now. And again, it's all the way up here in the Consecrated Snowfield. Heard it this way, this way, this way, this way, this way, and it is over here. But in the meantime... Okay, so now once you've had a terrible experience dealing with the Elden Ring PvP community, you come back and talk to White Mask. Oh, damn, kid. I'm glad mm. you have spam, 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 spam. I anoint me. It's For your the Lord of Normally, the not sin. All right. Uh, the next thing that we're going to from here, he's going to give you this little the Lord of Blood's favor. Here, what you need to do is you need to find basically a dead mate. The closest, and I would argue probably the better one to go for here, if I'm being perfectly honest, is you're going to go north from the Rose Church, uh, keep uh, northwest from the church, past the Temple Quarter, and hit till you hit the Cuckoo's Everjail. Then heading north along the path, 
hit the path along the trees up the mountain until you get to here, the four belfries, side of grace. That will be at the top, and you will be able to see the four belfries. They are essentially a, um, you know, they're these little tower things on the top of the path. You will come all the way to the top, open this chest, you will get an item called an imbued key. I do, I've already opened it because my dumbass left, um, uh, my ruins at a place called the Ruin Stream Precipice, the, the Precipice of Anticipation. And, um, now, I, this, that's just also to be after where we're going. You will put the imbued uh, stone sword key here, similar to normal stone swords. You can actually see it there on my screen, the difference between the two, the one that I injected. You will go through this portal. The portal is the first one that you see from the top. Now, there are multiple other ones you can get. You can get um, three imbued stone sword keys throughout the game. You get one free one here. This is, you're going to want to use this here for a myriad of different reasons. This includes uh, a quest line we will go over, going over later. Uh, from here, you will uh, basically be, uh, if you haven't beaten the intro boss, there will be a uh, fog wall here. You will have enough power at this point, having gotten to Laernia, presumably beaten a beaten Godric, you will be able to beat that boss with relative ease. You will come back across the way you came and go up the stairs into the chapel you had initially spawned into. If you remember, you picked up an item from a dead body here. This is one of those maidens. You can go up and it'll have the prompt to die cloth with maidens. You will do so. You now have the Lord of Blood's favor uh, died this time. And from here, we are going to teleport back to the South Grey Lucaria site of grace and then head back to talk to Vere. We have returned to the to White Mask Vere and you ah, talk to him in exhaustive dialogue. Night. Now, this no so basically, what happens now is you get the prompt off a of finger. A little animation thing will occur. Um, he'll do some weird shit to your finger. You have this dialogue. Oh, good heavens. Clench your teeth or something. There. You then receive... Uh, Never forget, for it is what... <laughs> exhaust, have. exhaust, exhaust. Oh, and we click talk thing. again. This is, he gives you the pure blood knight's mouth. With the power Nothing of this, mustn't everything else after this point mist. is annoying, blah, 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 whatever. This is the item that you need to get to the next stage. From here, you're going to go to your inventory under consumables and tools. Scroll down, and you're going to want to get the pure blood knight's metal. Metal. Once activated, this will allow you to go to the audience rooms. Remember, this is a location that you only get access to by going to the Consecrated Snowfields, which you don't get access to until at least the Mountain Pops of Giants, Mountain Pops Giants being the end game, one of the one of two or three end game, one of the three end game areas. This is another four end game areas. This is another one. This is the Mogwin Dynasty's mausoleum. What you're going to do is you're going to come up here, hit this site of grace, and you're going to fight your way to the top of the mountain. I am electing to run through all of this. I would implore you, if you have the ability to take down most of these enemies, I would encourage you to do so. If you do not have it, then I would encourage you to try and run and dodge as best you can. Blood loss mitigation will be paramount here. You're definitely going to want weapon. Uh, uh, you're definitely going to want um, things that work, will increase your immunity, vitality. Just lots of blood loss here. So have your uh, 
flasks at the ready. You're going to have you're going to into a really dark thing where some blood sanguine nobles will spawn. These are very powerful enemies to be aware of. And we're just going to keep heading through this dark calcium. I have known what's here for a while. Using your lanterns here is what is very valuable, or a torch if you didn't pick up the lantern. I will have a video going over for how to grab the lantern at a later occasion. From out here, we are going to uh, continue. This, if you wanted to fight White Mask Vare and you've completed his, and you got here after completing his quest, there is will be an invasion mark where you can go fight and kill him. Killing him will net you a pretty unique mace that I will go over in a separate video. Now from this site of grace, you're going to want to go up here. Up there is a chest. Past all these enemies is a chest with a somber with an eight with a ancient som somber ancient ancient uh somber ancient dragon stone, which can be used to level up uh things like the Reduvia Blood Blade, the uh, Blasphemous Blade, and other special weapons to their max level. From here, you're going to go into here. Just this, because this is a boss fight, and we are going to fight Luminary Blood. This is the set. This is the final step before being able to get to Mikola's Mikola and Mikola's cocoon. Speaking of which, in this cutscene, that cocoon just so happens to be Mikola. So we're going to go through the whole rigmarole of a boss fight here. Just go to see some friends. This day, the coming of our dynasty. Morgwin. Now that we have killed the pedophile, we now have access to Mikola. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is how you find Mikola in uh, Elden Ring. Now, granted, is this the entrance to Shadow of the Earth Tree? Possibly, most likely. I will do a follow-up video once we once that is done. But presumably, if all things considered, this is the entrance to Shadow of the Earth Tree. So I hope you liked this video. I hope you appreciate the time. If you want to support the show, please consider doing so at himedia.gg slash tip. Uh, you get early access to videos, uh, exclusive videos, with placements in tournaments and stuff like that. It offered the low, low cost of a dollar a month at himedia.gg slash tip. And a dollar a month is a boon to my mental health. Please, I am very poor. Have a wonderful rest of your day.